Most people in America are expecting that when they pay their discretionary income, which is the extra money that comes after any type of expenditures for food, that it will be not only safe and sanitary, but it will also keep the sanctity of food and that it will not be tainted. Last evening, I made my way to a restaurant that I haven't eaten at in some while, and I went in to order some food. It cost me seven bucks. Should have maybe cost me a little over six, but that's okay. Most restaurants today, because of COVID, are not taking advantage of the silver bullet from the government, and they're increasing their prices by 20 to 30 percent. The liars of America believe that they have the right to be here, stay here, and play here, and taint our food here. Three things occurred while I was in the restaurant. The first thing that occurred was that on my way to decide about food, I was solicited by a woman who claims that she's Jewish, but she might have been Hispanic. We talked for a little bit of time, but what I established was one of two things. She's either a law enforcement officer, pretending with information to match someone in my family, my family of origin, of which I've said no more to, and playing with that, or she is a mental health worker trying to solicit and illegally and immorally create records. She did support the ministry for my situation and other people like me to the tune of $28. I presume that the money is still someplace in my pockets, except for the money I chose to use to get food, which was a part of the negotiation that she and I had. I haven't had a chance to go to the shop for the other item as of yet because it was too late and I had to decide whether I want to make food before the shop closed or not. The second thing that happened was when I got to the restaurant, I knew that the people had sped ahead of me as they often do to go into that space. I went in the door and I placed an order for some food. What I know about the tainting of food is it can happen in actual plastics. And it can also happen in the sauces that are sold, meaning that they can put tainting material to dry inside the cups that they might put sauces in that you have on the side. And that is immoral and incredibly illegal. What I can tell you is that I ate that food, those noodles and that chicken, and I ate it about a block from the restaurant. I sat myself down, I put up my little dinner space and I ate and after that I was on the ground out like a light now it is possible that I'm just tired but usually I'm up and considering I slept all day it's a little unusual at the same time when I was in the restaurant a white man who's a security guard I'm pretty sure from Target who I've had words with decided to insult me and humiliate me by walking through the line ahead of me, which is his right. He was there in line, but coming back to me after he purchased his food and trying to insist that he had the right to give me crab, crab meat and goon. For all I know, he took that food over to the side table, put something in it, and then gave it to me. 